Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about bass traps in home studios. So let's back up a little bit, define our terms, which <laughs> seems to be the case in, in all of this. Um, these are search engine terms that people uh, search for. And you can see where the industry has perverted the terms now uh, that, that people use to search for, which is a little bit discouraging if you think about it, because belief systems that aren't based upon fact just continue to perpetuate themselves. And, and there's no advancement uh, in the literature or thinking for that matter. There's no such thing as a bass trap. Nothing is trapped, especially low frequency energy. Think of low frequency energy as ocean waves. How are you going to trap an ocean wave? You're not. There's only going to be three things that are going to happen to it. It's going to go through the product. It's going to reflect it back or it's going to be absorbed. Those are the things that are going to happen. Go through, hit another wall perhaps and come back or attenuate. The product does something at certain frequencies and amplitudes. Three kinds of low frequency absorption. None have the word bass trap in them. Hemholtz membrane and diaphragmatic. So you want to look at those three. We use diaphragmatic. It's the most powerful per square foot. Membrane is a cousin of diaphragmatic, doesn't get as much rate. And Hemholtz, very frequency specific, doesn't get a lot of absorption per square foot and you need a lot of units. We've used Hemholtz in the past to add to our diaphragmatic database because sometimes broadband absorption doesn't get certain frequencies that well. So you can come in with the Hemholtz like a notch filter and you know put it into the room in the analog domain. You have to know location, you have to know frequency, and you have to know amplitude. Nothing's easy. Diaphragmatic, the most powerful, our ACDA 10 and 12 series. We've taken diaphragmatic absorption, added a couple front walls to slow the pressure wave down even more. The carbon technology on the inside, we put 50 pounds of our proprietary carbon inside, actually lower the atmospheric pressure inside the cabinet. So when the pressure wave created in normal atmosphere enters the cabinet, sees a different pressure, it collapses. And that's how we get attenuation. We're going to do a series of videos on that attenuation from customers' comments. It'll be very interesting to hear their comments and then to hear our, our database that goes with it. So the ACDA 10 is broadband, 30 to 300. The ACDA 12 is 30 to 50. These are the two designed for frequency ranges. Everybody will say, well, you advertise that it goes higher because it does. We just simply add our two inch proprietary foam to the face. That's how we get extension up to 6,300. So you're really working in that 6.3K range from 40. That's where engineers work. Some get down here, your classical guys and your uh, mastering room guys, but 40 to 6,300 is, is the frequency range engineers work in. That's why I designed my phone with a ceiling of 6,300. Foam face, extend to 6,300, must treat walls, not the corners. By definition, unwanted low frequency pressure is between two parallel, four parallel, or six parallel surfaces, not two, four, six parallel corners. If you look at the corners of a room, if your whole problem is the whole wall, and that's 100%, you're going to treat just the corners. What is that, 10%? So you still have a 90% problem. You still haven't treated this. There's your problem. So you get a little bit of relief here, but it won't be at the low frequencies. It'll be at the middle and high frequencies. So stay away from those uh, myths about low frequency uh, problems, put this in the corner and, and your worries are over. No, your worries are just beginning because you're going to hear what absorption does to those critical areas of a room and you're going to want more. So make sure you get the right horsepower, you get the right uh, level, you get down low enough, you get enough, and you have enough. Go low enough, get enough, and have enough because you got to have enough surface area coverage. Most walls take about 50 to 65% surface area coverage to handle the pressure at that particular wall surface. Base traps in home studios. Hope this helps. Thank you.
Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.